Clean up here, so a new expansion pack just got released on the test servers. It features expansion pack 2 with 55 new animals and also custom packs which has an additional 25, so 80 pets total. I'm not going to go over all 80 pets, I'm going to keep this short and I'm just going to go over the combo used to break the, the format. Now what are the three pets needed? The, the key pet here is the Tapir. It is a 4-3 base unit with a very special ability, and let's read that for a second. When it faints, it summons a copy of the far right pet. Now what happens if there are two tapirs, and when the first one dies, it's gonna copy the far right pet, which is just another tapir. Very easily you get an infinite loop of infinite tapirs. Uh, the other two pets necessary, it's gonna be the alpaca and the chicken. And what the alpaca does is, when a friend is summoned, it will grant it 1, 2, or 3 experience depending on the alpaca level. It means that you only need to buy 3 alpacas to get it to level 3. To get to that level 3 chicken, instead of having to spend 18 gold on 6 chickens, you only need to spend up to 9 gold on 1 chicken and then 2 chocolates. This combo is so strong that in the only arena run that I was able to do, I was able to get that 50-50 shot. So here's the run. Alrighty, so I'm actually gonna start on turn nine of this run. Early game, turns one through eight, I don't really do much. I just basically try to survive and then buy as many tapirs as I, as I can. Uh, so it is turn nine and I see my second tapir. This is the combo that I'm looking for. It's uh, basically from this point on, I have a almost 0% chance to die. So after buying this tapir, nothing None of the other three pets I have on my shop actually matters. It's kind of dumb. With the remaining gold that I have, I'm basically just trying to roll for chickens and potentially consider tripling up a pet in order to see maybe an alpaca, which is first available on turns 11. I decided to level up the tapir and I got really lucky and I see the alpaca. With two gold left, I'm gonna just sell a hamster, buy the alpaca, and end my turn. Now, this fight, you'll see why nothing really matters. It's turn 9, I'm not super strong, but it doesn't matter. Because the Tapir just spawns over and over and over again. Easy win. Turn 10, I'm basically just looking to level up my alpaca via chocolates, or to get some chickens. Not much else to it. I have no fears in the whole world. So I do see a lioness, it helps start to level up the shop. Not necessary in this combo, I could have just rolled for chicken. Because really, there's nothing to fear with two tapirs. And with no more gold, I just end my turn and I'm not even praying, I'm just like chilling. Just infinite tapirs. So overpowered. Another easy win. Now turn 11. Um, basically, tapirs are available. We can either roll to see tapirs or we can level up to see uh, an opportunity to, to fill in a tapir. So pretty much I just roll, roll, roll. I see a crow. What it does is it, when I sell it, it gives me chocolates. These chocolates are going to help me level up my pet to level 3. I decide to level up the lioness so my shop gets plus 4 plus 4 at the end of each turn. And I see that last appear that I'm looking for. With 2 gold left, I roll and I end my turn. And so you can see, this is turn 11. I have basically no stats, but I don't really care because I have 2 tapirs. Six gold is all I need to take out, like, any team out there. Seems balanced, huh? Alright, turn 12. Uh, at this point, I've got the level 3 uh, alpaca I'm looking for, and I roll into the chicken. 
Now, I buy the chicken and I buy the chocolate and I've got that level 3 chicken. From this point on, I don't really care about anything ex except for buying and selling tier 1. With the two tapirs in back, I don't... There's nothing to fear, right? Wrong. So, in this fight, you'll see the one situation where the two tapirs are vulnerable. And when the two tapirs die at the same time before any of their fate trigger effects can happen, then it will, the far left pet it copies is actually the enemy bird, and therefore I lose. So turn 13, I've got 3 health left, and at this point, yeah, I'm just going to be cycling, buying and selling tier 1. What's crazy about this combo is that uh, the alpaca is actually giving us gold. Uh, any tier 1 with, that we see costs 3 gold to buy, and two gold to sell. So net cost is just one gold to level up our shop plus three plus three. It's really incredible. And I decide to finish the turn with uh, a fly. So that way I have a slightly higher chance of just not dying. Really though, it doesn't super matter. Uh, I'm pretty invulnerable to most teams. And yeah, let's see how this fight goes. I feel sorry for anybody that's got to face these that's a peer teams. Yeah, easy. All right, same thing. Um, my shop is only plus like 25, 25 right now. I'm just going to be buying and selling this turn up until I get my shop to 50-50. I do decide to buy a Tapiri here only because I want to make it have higher health that way they can they don't have any chance of dying at the same time. And with 3 gold left, I buy a hammerhead shark and put it up in front. The hammerhead, ha the hammerhead shark is actually going to give me 4 gold at the beginning of the next turn. Now this fight is actually super interesting. I'm going to count the total number of hits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So after 30 hits, the game decides it's just gonna draw. And that's actually great for us because it gives us more time to scale and buy the final pets that we're looking for. <laughs> So more buying and selling, not much to see here. And eventually I get my shop to almost 50-50. And this is when I decide I want to start buying those uh, leopards, tigers, bears, just kidding, no bears, um, gorillas, and just any strong pet that will just wipe the floor with, with the team. And with almost a 50-50 shop, I'm going to be selling the chicken to buy a tiger. And so immediately, the alpaca is so strong, I already have a level 2 leopard, a level 2 tiger. Let's see how this battle goes. It's going to be very close. I, I just have a feeling. Not. Alright, last the last turn, I basically I, I don't have much to do. Just buy strong pets. Sell my tapirs, they've done their job, sell the alpaca, it's done its job, and just see if I can get the mat most biggest massive team possible. And I end my team selling the alpaca and replacing it with the harambe. Let's see how this fight goes. It is a team of 50-50s on turn 16. And yeah, there you have it. That was the fight. It lasted like half a second. Well, that's the combo. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video.